Hi, Lisa here, and I'm excited to show you how to use Hypertest to build an automated test suite. Hypertest SDK is set up in the source code of a sample banking app. When the app starts normally on my local machine, Hypertest starts recording traffic that the app receives. This traffic could be from any environment. We name this service Bank Test Demo in Hypertest Dashboard. As you can see from my screen, Hypertest SDK is initialized on top of my service code. Now, we start the application normally in my local machine. This runs Hypertest in record mode. To generate some traffic, we will hit some sample requests on this service using Postman. All of this will get recorded. For this banking app, we hit a sequence of requests to create a new user, and once account is created, add money. All the requests or API calls made on this application are recorded in the same sequence. Hypertest records the complete trace that is request payload, response, and outbound calls. If we go to any of the recorded requests, we can see that Hypertest has captured the complete request payload. The response of the request and all the outbound calls, in this case a database, and its response. This is the baseline behavior that Hypertest will use when it checks for regression. Let's go back to our service and make a small change in the code. We have made sure that every time a transaction happens, this application will deduct an amount instead of adding it. We will run Hypertest in replay mode to run all recorded requests on the build with the change. Once this test run completes, the results are available on our dashboard in results. These tests compare the new response of the service to those that we recorded earlier. It mocks all outbound calls, in this case the database, to test the same flow. It keeps the application in the desired state before and after the change so that results are consistent and deterministic. We take care to filter noise and any false positives. This way, Hypertest records a real test scenario, runs it without needing a dedicated environment, manages the captured payload as test data and writes assertions for all important validations. This saves at least four to five hours of work in creating a good integration test. Another advantage here is that we can also report code coverage. We will run Hypertest in the replay mode again with a command that generates code coverage report in HTML, and we will open this in my browser. Since we are looking at the complete trace of the call, we know which lines, branches, functions, and statements in our code is being tested and covered. The red lines highlight lines which have not been covered by Hypertest. And when Hypertest sees traffic for these scenarios, it will cover them automatically. This brings us to the end of this demo. Watch a detailed video on how to get started with Hypertest and run your first integration tests.